I've made up my mind. I want to become a CPA. Great choice. There are plenty of job opportunities with good pay available once you obtain that CPA license. But what exactly do you have to do to get a CPA license? Mm. Well, the CBA wants to make that as easy to understand as possible. So in this video, we'll break it down for you. And all you have to remember are the four E's. That's education, examination, experience, and ethics. Let's start with... Education. Okay, sounds good. There are educational requirements you need to fulfill before you are approved to sit for the uniform CPA examination. That's the CPA exam, right? Yeah, that's right. First, you must have earned at least a bachelor's degree and at least 24 semester units of accounting courses and another 24 units of business-related courses. Once you accomplish this, you're ready to apply to take the CPA exam. And now, you can apply even before your degree has been conferred, as long as you are currently enrolled in the coursework required and within 180 days of completing it. There are more education requirements for licensure, but we'll get to those a little later. You want to take the second E? Examination? I got this. The CPA exam is a computer-based test divided into four sections. Auditing and attestation, business environment and concepts, financial accounting and reporting, and regulation. It's your choice what order you take the sections in. How quickly you take them, that's also up to you. Although most candidates generally spread them out to allow ample time for preparation. The only thing you do have to keep in mind is that you do have to pass all four sections within an 18 month period. Happy studying. After you pass the CPA exam, it's time to start thinking about applying for your license. But first, the final two E's come into play. Experience and ethics. Correct. 12 months of general accounting experience supervised by a CPA with a current and valid license is required. And you will need to pass an ethics exam within two years of applying for your license. It's called the professional ethics examination. You can call it the PETH exam. <laughs> You're all about shortening things. I like that. Yes, you'll need to pass the PETH exam, a self-study course administered online by the Cal CPA Education Foundation. Remember earlier I mentioned there were some extra education requirements for licensure? Yes, I do. <laughs> Excellent. Glad you've been paying attention. So here they are. In addition to the 24 accounting and 24 business related units you needed to take the CPA exam, now you need another 20 units of accounting study and 10 units of ethics courses. Also, when you add it all up, you must have completed a total of 150 semester units of coursework. Between passing your CPA exam, completing your education, earning your 12 months of accounting experience, and passing your ethics exam, you've now satisfied all of the requirements. The four E's. <laughs> Indeed. And now you are ready to apply for your CPA license. Want to tell them how they do this? Don't mind if I do. The cool part is that this can now be done entirely online with the CBA's online application for CPA licensure. You're able to upload documents, pay your application fee with a credit card, and submit your license application, all with just a few clicks of your mouse. Just go to the CBA website to get started. That's www.cba.ca.gov. Of course, the CBA is always here to help you along the way. On the Contact the CBA page of our website, you will find email addresses you can use to ask us questions. We hope this video helps you make sense of the requirements to obtain your CPA license. Just, Just remember, remember the four E's.